Good morning, amazing church family. We are on um, day uh, 28 of our Lent course and we're at Psalm 28. So do take time to read this uh, psalm. I'm going to give you some some, some general outline for this psalm and just, uh, I think, a particular response that we should make to Psalm 28, which is another psalm of David. Again, he's in some distress, some problems are lurking. We don't know the details of that. Maybe his life is in danger. But uh, just look at what this psalm reveals to us. First of all, it reveals to us, I think, four uh, states or conditions of one's heart. First, there's the uh, petitioning, praying heart. That's verses one and two. And then a description of the evil heart. That's from verse 3 to verse 5. And then emerging in verse 6 is the trusting heart of David, believing that his God will answer his cry for mercy. And then finally, uh, what really sums it all up, this extraordinary rejoicing heart at God having answered prayer. And we'll focus on that one right at the end. So... <clears throat> What I want to say is this, that throughout this psalm, we have a wonderful picture of the nature of God, that he is our rock, that he is our refuge, that he is our strength. He is someone that David says we can depend on. I love David's prayer. It was one of simple cry for mercy. Remember, Jesus con contrasted uh, a Pharisee praying a very long prayer with just a sinner crying out, be merciful to me, a sinner, and saying that God would listen to that short prayer and not the long prayer. So maybe you've got things that you just need God's mercy to cover. Then today, why not uh, just pour them out to God? Because his mercy is sufficient. He can cover it by his grace. So why don't you do that? Just as David starts this psalm with a cry for mercy, if there's anything that you feel that you just need God's mercy and grace to cover, just bring it to him. But I would like to suggest that the main emphasis or main response to this psalm uh, should be thankfulness. Thanking God for his answers to our prayers. That's how this psalm ends. So why not take some time to just make a list of all those prayers that God has answered uh, recently for you. I'm sure there are numerous. And then use this time as you meditate on the psalm to just to be thankful, to pour out your heart of thanksgiving for all that he's done and all that he is. Then you're entering the heart of David as he wrote this psalm. May God richly bless you.